What is a vampire? What is the true meaning of the word vampire when it is a name given to an individual person, a human being? A vampire. Well, what are the attributes of a vampire? A vampire sleeps during the day because he can't stand the sunlight and he stays up at night. He's busy at night. Of course, he's not working. He's not being productive to the world. He's just taking. He sucks the blood out of everyone he or she comes into contact with. That's what a vampire does. What are other attributes of a vampire? A vampire can't see themselves in the mirror. They have no reflection. In other words, they refuse to accept the fact that they are a vampire and that they just take from others. And all this love that they talk about is just about love for people to take care of me. That's the love that they're concerned about. The only welfare they care about others is where can I get my next meal? so I can suck the blood, the life out of these people. How do I suck the life out of people? How is that done? Well, what it is, you have no input for good in any way, shape, or form. So anything you have to do with anything is a distraction from their better lives than yours because yours is completely unproductive in any real practical way other than to teach people how to be patient and how to be kind and how to be tolerant because there's some pathetic people out there that want to suck your blood and distract you from your life because their life is so much more important because they can't seem to get over their issues Regardless of what the issue is, they can't seem to ever get over them because it's a, a, an ongoing thing. They block their ability to mature mentally. They stay locked in some attitude of give, give, give. Because I want, want, want. I need, need, need. That's all they say. That's all they do. They are vampires. Not that that's the only type, you know. The, the most benign ones are the ones that just pretty much affect and infect their own family and those that happen to run across them. Then, of course, there's those that think they're going to rule the world with their vampirism. The way they vampire is they push their bullshit in the world over and over and over and over again, and they get some gullible souls to believe that bullshit. And before you know it, we got people thinking that hate and hurting and killing people is the loving thing to do. You know, like in the Middle Ages. And like in World War I, and especially World War II, in the concentration camps, this is the best way to handle this problem. We'll just kill them wholesale until they're all gone. Then we'll be happy, finally. How pathetic to teach and believe and manifest such BS and promote it on others. And yet, that's love from their viewpoint. God wants them to do that because there's no way in the world they would do such a thing if God didn't want them to do it. Well, my God don't do such things. My God is based on love. Now, what the God of vampires ex expects to be, uh, I have no clue. But it's not the God of love. It's not the God of spirit. It's not the God of power. It's not the God of wisdom. It's not the God of, of common sense. 
It's a God of, I want to take anything I can because people are stupid enough to give it to me. Because that's what it comes down to, is the complete rejection of a person or a thing who is a vampire because they feed on any, any, any attention they could possibly get. Other than attention that unquestionably transmutes their BS into something like good healthy fertilizer that can be used to help people to make better decisions in their lives. Because that's all they're worth is a, is a, is a memory of I don't ever want to be like that. I don't ever want to let myself get trapped into that kind of mental thinking again. Anyway, hopefully I have clearly explained what a vampire is. So mote it be. Peace profound.